we'll try to get some sleep tonight so that we are not zombies, zombies tomorrow morning for our round. We got in. Go! In no particular order, we will begin answering questions that I received through my Instagram. How do you feel? Good? Ready? Yeah. Is it easy to travel these days? Tell them about my story first. Uh. Listen to this AI. And then we spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out how to do that since you're not the one who will be booking your flight out of it anyways. So she just booked the flight. $3,000. $3,000 that I will cancel after we get through customs. I can't believe that was a hassle-free experience. Where? Do you want to close the door so I can check my mask Oh. A little closet. After today, we don't get access to this beautiful, this is beautiful. Yes. And tomorrow, we're gonna be practicing school practice rooms. Nice. Never and we struggled a lot, German thing all the way here. We're gonna eat, I think. Eat some food. Wow. I've got a walk. Yeah, you have like a... <laughs> yeah. A prance. How are a you, prance? Is that what that's called? Yeah. He has a proper, like, more portable walking chip. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go try the piano today. Nine, ten, ten whole minutes. Ten minutes on the piano. I think the average between us is 4.5 hours of sleep <laughs> tonight. <laughs> We're super jet lagged. We'll try to get some sleep tonight so that we are not zombies. Zombies tomorrow morning for our round. And yeah, right now we're gonna take the train. It's pretty though.
exhausted. I am. We're gonna take a lunch break. What time is it actually? It's almost one, I think. We're gonna get like a smoothie salad health bowl place that we saw yesterday. It's gonna be a quick lunch. Good morning. It is the day of the competition and it is what time is it? 7 40. 7 40 a.m. I'm honestly like so shaky and sleepy. What was this? I woke up, yeah, jet lag hit again yesterday. I woke up at like 2 a.m. I don't know, probably fell back asleep around 3.30 or 4 or something like that. Definitely did not want to wake up when my alarm went off. But here I am. I think that's why I'm a bit jittery. Maybe I'm nervous, who knows. I don't usually get like this but due to nervousness. I think it's just not getting enough sleep. And my body be like, let me go back to sleep. Um, but yeah, I think Carissa and I were saying tentatively we'll go eat at 7.30. But it's 7.40 and I checked my messages and I think maybe she's still sleeping. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty excited to play. We went through our whole round, like did a run through. Like, but mentally, without the piano. And what that made me realize is that, like, I still have, like, a couple of spots, like, memory-wise. Maybe that's not completely there, like, I can't think of it right away. When I woke up, like, in the middle of the night, I started going over those parts mentally. <laughs> Which probably didn't help me sleep at all. But, anyways. It is done. I wish I could sleep more, but... I think by the latest we need to start eating by 8 so that we can at least catch the 8.30 shuttle to get to school by 8.45 We were originally thinking that we would go there ourselves but I hope they go with the more chill later plan I think really mostly everyone is coming from Europe I hope we'll get a chance to meet everyone That would be cool How do you feel about our performance three, four, five hours ago? How long was it? Just six hours ago. We don't find out until at least like 8 p.m. Oh, I hate this. I think looking at the other tools, they call
We got in. Go! <laughs> oh my god. He said he's gonna try and get the tickets now. Oh. Oh my god. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, I saw her on her phone right away. But yeah. I saw you were freaking out because you didn't see it. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it so quiet? <laughs> oh, I, I guess like, we're not there. Asked about tickets. Shit, who else made it? So we're gonna be playing last, so that means more time to Semi-finals, Carissa and I hurriedly ate breakfast. It was the first full night of sleep I got, finally. Um, I'm still feeling pretty tired from just like many nights of sleep deprivation. But it's okay, it's my practice room this morning. Uh, I just practiced for like an hour. And now we're gonna commence like about two hours of together work and then we're gonna go after lunch and it's another just like rehearsal we're also gonna be rehearsing today with the string ensemble we're not sure if it's a string quartet or chamber orchestra uh, because we're playing a Bach concerto uh, first thing in our round tomorrow really excited about that and then we're probably gonna end our day with like a run through because we are playing tomorrow at around 7 p.m. 7.30. I said you'll get time to eat breakfast this morning. We should. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How long we find it with my camera too? Okay. Yeah, it's actually for most of the things, actually for all the things we do, our hands were together up. Wow. Like pulling first at least. Pulling? I saw I went. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. It just so looked we like we were both together. together. Yeah. And then you were for sure. I didn't check, I guess, the second time. I, I guess we can usually, it's usually we'll look at each other and then when one hands of us looks down, down that means yeah, that hands, hands ready and then yeah. we look again. And we're good. Okay, for this one, oh well, I guess fourth movement is. Take hands on lap. Yeah. Sorry, I was just like, good distract. Uh, I missed notes. I can't miss notes. So I am the intent. Yeah, our balance for the first note is kind of hard. It is, yeah. Well, that was weirdly loud. I'll try again. I over voiced this time. <laughs>
Good morning. It is Monday, September 6th. Yesterday night, very late at night, we found out that we got through to the final round of the competition. At the school to get some individual practice in before I meet up with Carissa sometime in the afternoon to go over this final concerto for the round. So it's a Mozart concerto for two pianos. Really, really fun piece with a really beautiful second movement as per usual for Mozart. We're very, very excited. Uh, but yeah, the rehearsal tomorrow, our first rehearsal tomorrow is at uh, it's tomorrow at 10 a.m. Yeah, but with Mozart, really, really gotta be refined playing. So I'm gonna really try and polish it up as much as possible before I meet Carissa. So I don't get help for it. <laughs> How was rehearsal, guys? It was, uh, it was good. <laughs> I was gonna say it was in German. As far good, that's it. Sehr good. Sehr good. Well, that's very, that's good. very good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. The piano technician is so cute.
where we play. Oh, it looks really looks like a theater actually. It is a theater. How do you feel? Last perform. We just finished our last performance. Yeah, I, I feel sad but happy because it's yeah. good. <laughs> sad but happy. Oh, should we answer questions? Sure. Mm. Okay. In no particular order, we will begin answering questions that I received through my Instagram. Oh, how did you decide to form Love Yamada? Yeah, we met in Vancouver. The oh. year was 2015. The place was some conference center hall thing. Yeah, we were at a competition. Like a national competition? Yeah. Yeah. And I had just heard Linda play, and I was like, oh my god. Hey, great job! <laughs> <laughs> I never heard Carissa play actually until like we met way later. Like when a year? No, like a couple started. months later. Yeah. But even, I don't think I heard you until the Ravel piano yeah. concerto actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then we, we realized we went to the same school, we're going to the same school starting. And we started a friendship via email. Yeah, because Carissa didn't have Facebook. That's my method. <laughs> and then and then and then we were yeah just friends from the start. I think we just stuck to each other because we didn't know anyone else either. Yeah. <laughs> also two pianists in the same year. Yeah. There was only four of us actually pianists. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, and decide to form La Fiamada. We had a piano duo class that was mandatory for first year pianists, and we were just in the duo together. And then since then we just been playing all the time together. Cause it's fun. Cause it's fun. Yeah. La Fiamada, the name. Burst of flame. I feel like it aptly describes us. Aptly, is that the word? Yes. Yeah, and um, because, yeah, I feel like, I, I really, what I loved about our name is, what I love about our name is the kind of the energy of a burst, rather than just like, I don't know, Kung Fu Oko, or like. Always angry. <laughs> always angry. But it's like this kind of impulse and like, this kind of energy of the burst of the flame. So that's, that's, that's kind of what we Interact with each other. Yeah, this kind of yeah. sizzling. I am the gasoline. <laughs> I'm like liquid and I smell. And she's like the. <laughs> I'm like she's the fire spark. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And then together we go poof. Maybe, maybe you can be like, you know how they have like a fire starter, like paper? Yeah. Like maybe we can paper. illustrate our faces into it. Okay. <laughs> That'll be the next. Uh... Uh, poster, concert poster, which will be really do time for me. I guess we're just two like sticks. Yeah. Oh no, a flint. Flint. Flint and... Okay, whatever. Anyways. We don't know much about fire. <laughs> we're not gonna survive in a while. But Heck no. Probably more you than me. No, I don't think What's the biggest challenge for you in terms of duet playing? Or dual playing, I guess. I think it's both. Probably duet more than duo. So duet is one piano, four hands. Duo is two pianos, still four hands. <laughs> this is two pianos. <laughs> Can you so imagine if it's really just like one hand on each piano? Not possible. Anyway. That would be so weird. <laughs> one could be like that and piano. the other could be like that. Oh, like four hands. But like if they're like this, one person's like this and the other one's behind them or two behind them. Like that. I thought we were going to try to be oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the thing about four hands is there's only one keyboard and we're used to having one keyboard for our ten fingers. So having twenty fingers is a little off putting. Yeah. You just need to coordinate a lot. Yeah. yeah and choreograph actually sometimes because we're bumping into each other our feet are bumping into each other mm -hmm. and like sound wise we need, we need to totally rebalance and totally rethink uh, like the what we naturally are trying to do dual hands. Yeah. yeah so i think both of us prefer duo just because prefer dual playing over forehand i don't know some of my favorite performances have been like for our greatest forehand our greatest four hands. Yeah, not a greatest hits, four hands. Yeah, I, I do agree. It's just like because we're somehow able to communicate even more uh, subtly and intimately when we're side by side. Whereas like duo, you're really at a distance and it's much more uh, one versus the other kind of playing a lot of the time. Like dialogue. It doesn't have to be angry dialogue. <laughs> um, but it is a lot. I think duo... Um, can be a lot more fun and we can let free a lot more whereas the duo duet sorry is a lot more about refinement and really being in tune with each other and making sure when we descend with like a 20 note chord it's gonna be beautifully voiced every single note blending into the next person's which yeah. we also need to do with two pianos to some degree so they're both 
kind of suck in that regard, but they're both fun. They're both fun, yeah. Pros and cons to each. Yeah, it's, to, to, to for sure do it as like growing up. Okay, what was the feeling before the two of you played your first note? I guess at this competition, maybe. Or even in general. I guess our first note was pretty like. Pretty like. It was like. Yeah, for the second round. It's very like charged silence. Oh yeah, charged with tension. Yeah, tension, but we were super focused. Yeah. We were a little bit stressed right before. But at that beginning, we had nailed down, like... Yeah, today it wasn't quite together, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, that's us plus, like, a hundred people, so yeah. it's a little harder. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of... Yeah. Watching the conductor is hard. It's challenging. That was fun, though. That was yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 I can hear... I mean, I can feel my heart was pounding. Actually, when I... For a second round, the whole time, I guess, but... Especially right before the first. But pooling, we thankfully, thank God, we started with the pooling. That was the piece we were most comfortable with. We've been playing it since 20, uh, second, second year. Yeah, second, third year? Second, second year. year. Yeah, second year of undergrad. So, 60. so it's an old, old world. Yes. Yeah. And even, yeah, yeah, I think that's the only thing. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it's the only thing that really would have withstood our. Nerves at that point. So yeah, it was a good decision. Really, really nervous. Yeah, the preparation. What does oh, it take yeah. to prepare for an international competition of this caliber? Yeah. Well, because we spent the whole two years really apart in different cities to prepare for it, someone's complaining. Uh, to prepare for it, we had to, Carissa had to move across, <laughs> what's going on? Carissa had to move across the country. To Vancouver to live with Linda and her family. Yeah, live with us for <laughs> for uh, three months. Three months. Yeah, and we just had full days every day, almost every day, especially near the end. Yeah, eight-hour days near the end. Yeah, it was really stressful yeah. but fun. fun. It's a lot of repertoire. Yeah, it was two, a lot of repertoire. Two and a half hours. Every now and then, like when we have a lull in our rehearsal, we would like look at each other and be like, this is so much rep. <laughs> There's no way we can get through all of it. It was kind of, yeah. And we were just panic, mm -hmm. right? Herz mir auf bitte bereit halten. Herz mir auf bitte. Does that mean? Herz I don't know what that means. Maybe you mean shut up. They can't hear us from here. Can you imagine? We're just like being heard. Anyways, and we would panic right our like main teacher, I would say like Jim, every now and then be like, Jim, help us listen to a recording and like tell us that we suck or sound better than we think kind of thing. Guide Which he us. was help he's us. always very Save helpful. Us. He always said the exact right thing. Yeah. He actually like guided us through the whole competition. Really every round. Every round we're just like, Jim, we're panicked. And he's like, you good, you good. <laughs> <laughs> That was how it went. Like we literally, we had a rehearsal with the orchestra in the semi-final, and then we recorded it, and then we listened, and we were just like, "Oh my gosh, it doesn't sound good." And then, yeah, and then we wrote him. And then after the after the final rounds, uh, like Mozart rehearsal as well, like we actually sent him the recording. and was like, "Help, we sound so bad. <laughs> what do we do?" Kind of thing. So, and he actually gave us all the notes, yeah. and, but told us, "You guys sound great," which is exactly which is what, we needed. what you need in that situation. Also, thankfully, we had many other amazing teachers that yes. have brought all of our repertoire to. Yeah. Uh, a combination of our past teachers. All our past and teachers. And current teachers. And current So on Linda's side, yeah. And Mr. Hong Kong Chen, um, Corey Ham at UBC, who was my high school teacher. Was that it? And Jim, of course. Love Jim. Yeah. On my side, we had uh, Michael Esch. And we had <laughs> Jean Saulnier, my teacher at University of Montreal, as well as Charles Richard Anana, my other teacher at UDEM, uh, and John. also John O'Connor, 
my teacher in mm-hmm. undergrad who also mm-hmm. heard us as a duo a number yeah. of times. So big roster of people amazing really helping us because we needed the help because we only had three months to like nail everything down. Yeah. Like we didn't really have the luxury of time to like explore yeah. and decide what we really, really like. So I feel like, you know, that's if we were to do something over and if we we didn't really have space or time for this, but yeah. if we could we'd try to I think just have it a little longer. Yeah, yeah, because uh, uh, most of our rep was new, like, super new. Like, yeah. memorized the week before we came here. Yeah, basically. Like, completely memorized. Or completely memorized when we came here. Yeah. In my case, for the Messian. Yeah, in my case, the rep, even though I still have memories. Okay, memory cut the little. <laughs> okay, we had a moment where we were just like cried from stress after like getting through second round. It was not tears of joy, no. it was tears, tears of stress. Pure stress oh and anxiety, <laughs> and we just like, yeah, because I think we were really on the edge, both really on the edge, and then like kind of lashing out at each other a bit from stress, and then and then we cried it up, and it was just okay. realizing that the other person was not mad at you. We're in the same boat. We're, and we're both, both stressed and tired and jet <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So that was that was that I think. And also just like we got way farther. Than yeah. That's part of it, really. yeah, after second round, we were like, oh, we have to play all our rep. Yeah, this hour of music that obviously we planned to play. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. we worked on like like hell. But it's just been a it's through. been a week since we actually played through it as well, so it felt like it's a very distant memory. Whereas I feel like uh, I heard a bunch of other duels just like working on it at the same time, which was probably the smart thing to do. We did not do that. No, I did so a lot more stress. Yeah. yeah, we were stressed. What is the secret behind your collective success as a duo? Our faces. Yeah, we um, first and foremost we're friends who enjoy. are who enjoy playing together, enjoy spending time together, um, but also like really open to talking about issues as they rise and like changing. I think that's like compromising as yeah. well. We're not like oh that's how you're well that's how I am and. Maybe There's no way to close the gap. I think we both want this enough to try to try to reach it, reach each other in the middle. Yeah. Even if it's not always perfect, we're always trying to figure out the, a better way to approach it for next time. Yeah. We're just building on what we have. Yeah, I think the fact that like in my other chamber ensembles, it's always been fun and everything, but I think we never got down to this kind of vulnerable this place where everybody's being quite vulnerable about expressing their opinions and how uncalled the music should go in fear that, or like disagreements even like there's a there's yeah. like it's kind of special because we're both pianists and we like both intimately know the instrument so yeah. we're all we're like doubly on guard when we say when we have ideas because we know it's easier to it's possible on your instrument yeah and it's possible to yeah. possible to explore that option and so yeah I think that leads us more deeper into the piece and into our interpretation and, and into our own playing into our own playing yeah I, I'd say I learned a lot about myself as a person and as a player throughout this whole journey and I think because we're actually quite different in personality in, <laughs> in personality as, as players as musicians um, in height, in height, <laughs> in looks as well. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we're we're so different, but in that way we kind of fill in each other's um, weaknesses and yeah. bolster each other's strengths. And I think our golden rule when we go out on stage is to support each other no matter what. Give room for them to do something different mm-hmm. uh, and respond. To be always ready to be in the moment and react and make it work. Make it work no matter what. Even if it's crazy, just go along with it. Yeah, sometimes that's where the best moments come from. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and so ends our journey and this Q&A. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, be sad. Won't see each other for a while. But, you know, after this intense time, I think some space will do us good and we'll come back recharged and with new ideas. With new ideas. And you never know, our next project might come sooner than you think. 